Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial and review on the new Revolution Creative Volume 1 palette. So this is what it looks like right here. It's an eyeshadow palette and it has 24 eyeshadows inside. So that's what the shades look like inside the palette. So as you can see there's a bunch of quite colourful shades in this palette. There's also a mixture of mattes and some shimmery metallic -y shades. We also get a nice big mirror in the palette as well. And I actually quite like the packaging for this. It's a little bit different from any other palettes that I've got from Revolution. So I'm going to insert some swatches so you can get a better idea of how the palette looks. So I'm not going to give away too much about how this palette performs yet, uh, you'll see as I go on into the tutorial, but what I will say right now is it has some good things and it has some bad things about it. So if you do like the look of this eye look and would like to see a little bit of a review on this palette, then let's just go ahead and we'll get started. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to use is Abstract, which is this one right here. I'm just going to apply that right into my crease on my Morphe R37 brush. Okay, now I'm taking the shade Eptum. I'm just going to apply that into my crease as well on the same brush. So there is quite a bit of kick up with these eyeshadows if you can see there. So just bear that in mind. So I'm just applying this into my crease as well just to deepen it up. Okay, so I feel like we're getting a bit too orange. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this brown tone here, which is called Flawless, and just add that into my crease as well. And hopefully it tones down this orange. So I'm applying this with my Morphe R39 brush. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of fallout with these shadows. And there's also a, a good bit of a kick up in the palette as well. So yeah, like, I'm not too fussed about the kick up, but the fallout's a bit too much really because I feel like once you apply it to the eyes like more of the shadows really going on to you know it's just falling away than it is going on to the eyes if you know what I mean um, and yeah that shade is just basically taking away that orange you look underneath but it's like leaving this kind of sparse area if you know what I mean like it's not going right at all so I'm just going to take this other brush again the R37 brush and picking up that flawless shade and just applying it into my crease just in case it's that type of brush Yeah, no, that's... Yeah, like, look at all this mess here and there. Like, that is unbelievable. Like, I'm really kind of confused here because normally Makeup Revolution's eyeshadow palettes are usually really, really good. Um, but this one doesn't seem to be performing well, to be honest. Like, the shades are super messy, like, when you pick them up in the pan and when you apply them to the eyes they're just sort of like blending away like when you layer shades on top if that makes any sense yeah so let me just do this side with this brush okay so that's toned down the orange a bit and made it more kind of like browny um but like look at the mess here it's unreal i'm gonna have to tidy that up just now so i'm now gonna go in with the shade black heart which is this one here um, I'm going to apply that to my outer corner. I'm going to use quite a small brush for this and it's the Morphe E17 brush because I want to keep it quite precise on the outer corner. Okay, yeah, that just looks horrendous, doesn't it? Like, I don't know what is going on right now with these shadows. But when you're adding like um, mattes on top of mattes, they're sort of like blending away, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm just going to do this side. Yes. Like they apply onto the lids, not bad, right? But then when you actually blend them out, like if you blend them in, sorry, if you blend them in, like they just sort of like disappear really and leave kind of like patches. Um, yeah. I'm not going to apply any more of that black shade. Um, can you like see all the kick up and the fallout in this um, palette there? Yeah, it's quite messy. All the shades have had quite a bit of kick up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just tidy up this fallout just now. 
because it really spoils the look. So because the eyeshadows are quite um, powdery, like when you apply them to the eyes and you blend them, they're just sort of like um, disappearing and leaving little patches. So what I'm going to do is, is actually use a concealer to cut my crease because I want to add a shimmery shade on there. Um, so I'm going, I'm going to use the Revolution Conceal and Define Super Size Concealer. This is a really nice concealer and I don't think I've used this for cutting my crease before. So I'm hoping it's going to be quite... Um, good, I'm sure it will be because it's a great um, concealer for like the rest of the face. I'm just going to take a little bit um, on this little brush. It's not even branded, I don't think. Um, I don't know where I got this, but I like to use this to cut my crease. So what I'm going to do is just swipe down like that and look up, making sure I get right up to where it transfers onto the top of the lid. So I'm hoping when I'm cutting my crease here with this concealer it will act as like a kind of sticky base um, you know for the shimmer shade so they'll probably be a little bit more pigmented well I'm hoping they're going to be more pigmented and mind you I never actually primed my eyes beforehand so I never applied normally I apply like um, a eyeshadow base primer or like a concealer before I apply my eyeshadows and sometimes that helps with the pigmentation and the grip to the eyes um, but I haven't done that today so maybe that's why the shades, the matte shades are a bit too powdery on the lids because of that but again you shouldn't have to really um, put an eyeshadow um, base primer on really before any eyeshadows I don't think anyway. Okay so that's me cut my lid there now I'm going to go in with the shimmery shade. I'm going to go in with this shade here which is called Possession and apply that on top. I'm going to apply this shade with my Morphe GH41 brush. So I'm just using my finger now. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. Like that looks really good. That's actually kind of like a metallic -y shimmer, which is actually really nice. Yeah, that went on really nice, but I think it's because I have that kind of sticky base underneath. So I'm going to take the tape off just now because it's not doing anything for me because I can't get that um really kind of smoky dramatic edge because the black shade's a bit too patchy and um, so yeah I'm just going to take the tape off just now and clean up. Look at this big patch bit right here. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of that because that looks super stupid but I'm going to try and lightly use my wipe to go over that because yeah that's a bit better I think now. Anyway, like I said, the shimmery shade that I did apply was actually really nice. Like, that is really nice on the lids there. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is apply a little bit more of the another shimmery shade just in the inner portion there of my eyelid. I'm going to take the shade um, Deviation. I think it's this one right here. It's a kind of nice pink shimmery shade. So I'm going to pick this up on a pencil brush and I'm going to use the Sigma E30 for this because this one has a little bit more grip to it you know it's quite a kind of it's quite a stiff um pencil brush so i'm going to use that because like um i just want to place it into the oh yeah that's nice place it into the inner portion of the eyelid just right here yeah like the shimmery shades are actually really nice they're a bit more like metallic shimmers so yeah i'm liking the shimmers Okay, so I'm going to leave my eyes for just now and I'm going to apply my eyeliner. Once I've done that, I'll apply the rest of my face makeup. Then I'll come back and I'll finish up my eyes. Okay, so I'm back. Now I'm going to finish off my eyes. And when I was looking in the palette there, I just noticed that there isn't actually a kind of highlighting shade in the palette. Like, not a kind of white highlight shade. There's like a few gold shades here, but I don't think any of them are going to go well with this eye look. Um, so that's a bit of a gutter. But what I'm going to do is, is take the little contour palette here that I have from Revolution. This is the Imagination palette. You guys know that I really like this palette. And I'm going to take the shade Limited Edition, which is this one right here. It's a nice kind of white silvery um, highlight shade. And I'm going to apply that into the inner corner. So I'm just going to use a little pencil brush for this. Now what I'm going to do is apply the Rimmel Scandalize Nude Eyeliner in my waterline. 
and then for mascara I'm going to apply the revolution the mascara revolution okay guys so this is the completed look and how much have I actually saved this eye look like it has actually came together quite nicely and um, there's a few little patches and places like here and things like that but as a whole it's not too bad like I actually do quite like it Um, I think the shimmery shades in the palette are actually a lot better than the mattes well the matte shades that I've tried so far a bunch of them as you can see are quite powdery um, and when you blend them in with uh, the other eyeshadow it kind of like disappears and makes it a little bit patchy so yeah it's a little bit disappointing because I don't expect that from Makeup Revolution like normally their shadows are absolutely amazing and so spot on no matter whether they're mattes um, or shimmers also with the palette there is quite a bit of kick up and um, I've tried to clean it a little bit as I went along there and um, but there's still little kind of bits um, still left on there like the powder um, yeah there's a lot of kick up with the shadows and there's quite a lot of fallout as well especially with the mattes I didn't see much with the shimmer shades but that may be because I had that kind of um, concealer kind of sticky base underneath um, that made the shadow sort of grip to it so I don't know what it would have been would have been like if I just applied it dry to the lids um, but yeah so far I really do like the shimmery shades over the mattes in this palette and when I actually swatched a few of the shimmers on my fingers like you can see I'll actually do it just now you can see like how kind of buttery and how pigmented they actually are so let me just swatch a few here okay so there's a few there on my fingers and as you can see they're super kind of like metallic they're more like metallic shimmers I think because they have like a clay formula to them and um, so yeah they're quite metallic -y, really pretty quite shimmery as well have a lovely sheen off them so yeah they are actually quite nice when you apply them to the lids um, a lot better than the mattes I think again I've only tried one two three four mattes in the palette so there is a bunch more in the palette as you can see there that I haven't tried so I'm hoping some of them are a bit better like I love the look of this purpley shade here also this purple one the yellow and the pink there they look very kind of vibrant so I'm hoping there's not much fallout with them oh I want to swatch this one here this is like a shimmery shade like look at that one there that is super pigmented Um, so yeah there's a bunch in here that look really nice I'm hoping that the formula of the other mattes that I haven't tried are a lot better than the ones that I did try. So let me know if you would like to see more looks of this palette because I would actually quite like to use it again um, to see how some of the other matte shades perform and also see how some of these gold and coppery shades look on the eyes. Um, but yeah, let me know if you'd like to see more looks with it and also let me know what you think about this look. I know it's a little bit patchy in certain areas but I think I managed to save it quite well. Um, yeah, it's came together not too bad so yeah, overall I'm really liking this. Like I really do like peachy looks on my eyes so yeah, quite like this one. It's really nice and it goes nice with the... Um, with the lip as well that I have one. That's it for this video. I really hope you liked and enjoyed it. Again, let me know what you think about the eye look and if you'd like to see some more looks with the palette down below. Um, also, if you have the palette yourself, let me know what you think about it and how you got on with it down in the comment section as well. I'd love to know, guys. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, then give it a big thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button just down below if you're brand new to my channel and I'll speak to you very soon in my next video. Bye. Mwah.